my cola. <laughs> <laughs> the first ever NDAs. It's madness. How it is madness. It's crazy. You're like walking down a path, you don't know what's at the end. You're like, oh my gosh, you know? But no, I'm happy to be here. It's amazing. Like, just the people, the atmosphere, like, I love it. It's really amazing. And I know it's important we're asking you for pictures. You were like shocked, but you're still getting used yeah, to it. Yeah, I'm still getting used to it. I'm like, oh, me? Me? You calling me? Oh, no, we love you. Aww. And listen, there's very exciting announcements from Love Island today. Love Island All Stars. Yeah, I know. All Stars. All Stars. I feel all like stars. we need a second run. <laughs> you tell them that. <laughs> listen, would you? I know it's only just been announced, but would you do it if you got the chance? Would you think about it? I always say, you know me, my slogans never say never. So, like, you know what? Like, I wouldn't mind. I never say no at all, you know? And Love Island Games, that's even more exciting because it's in Fiji. Uh, and I feel it's like very, I feel it's going to be very competitive. Yeah. So, I can't wait to see that side because everyone that's like, is it Pokemon Love? Is it Pokemon Games? It's going to be so interesting. But for Love Island Games, Love Island All Stars, on the record, ITV are watching now. Kathryn, will you do it? Yes or no? <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yes! We love it! Now listen, I was shocked, shook up, when we saw Scott going into Love Island, USA. I think that's the first time that's ever been done. Yeah. Did you know about it? Was it a shock to you as well? Um, before obviously you guys knew, I knew, but I did know later on. So, um, it kind of slipped out. <laughs> it got right, yeah. right, okay. Was it just casual? Like, oh, by the way, I'm going to Fiji. It was... Oh, I have a flight tomorrow. Yeah, it was very casual. Yeah, it was very casual. But you know what? I'm happy for him. Um, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Um, I wish him the best. I literally wish him the best. If you were given that opportunity to go there, would you have taken it as well? Yeah. You know, like, know. obviously he's come out of the villa. You know, we haven't spoken. And when you come out, it's so intense as well. Like, you don't know what's there. You don't know what's around. And then, like, yeah. A free holiday in Fiji, who is going to turn that down? Like, do you know Fiji's what? amazing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and I know it's really annoying because it's all anyone ever asks you. I know you keep saying your friends are friends, but the fans are on me. They're in my throat, Catherine. They want to know, is there any hope for you in Scotland? Is it just friendship? The fans got to keep, keep... There's no questions being answered with Scott, OK? <laughs> I feel like they're gonna keep wondering. Yeah, I feel, I feel like there's still a big misunderstanding between you two. What? A big misunderstanding between you two. I feel like it was miscommunication. I feel like there's a lot of stuff happened that we don't realise, you know? And you know, again, the same way we left is the same way we continued, you know? So it's good. It's we're all good terms. But definitely yeah. self I mean, yeah, of course, and we, we still, we're still friends, we talk often, you know. Friends until you're in the same room and then the chemistry. <laughs> You know we see it. I know you're a shipper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're a shipper. <laughs> be nice, be nice. Listen, what would you say to the fans? Because your fans love you. What would you say to the fans that supported you? I love them. Like I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. Like I really love them. Like if I see them, I just want to give them all big hugs. Like they're literally amazing people, and I want them to know that as well. You know, I'm me, but you're you, and never change.